Skadank, skadank, skadoosh, hey everyone, and thanks for tuning back in. Game night, one product that was completely, I mean completely swept under the rug with all the bannings and everything going on with Oko and all the elk memes floating around the internet. It was a blast while it lasted. Also a nightmare to some of us who play standard, but that's all out of the way. This product no one really talked about. And we're going to crack it open, find out what's all inside, add up the value, see if we can get it back. You're looking at about retail price. I think for these is about $39.99 to $44.99. You really don't want to pay any more, trust me, than $44.99 out the door. But I have seen prices as low as $29.99 with free shipping. But I suggest you go to your LGS first and foremost. Always a good thing to support your LGS. With all that being said, let's tally it up. Let's see what kind of value we can get out of it. And uh, what these five mystery cards or five, you know, just exclusive cards are all about. Let's do this. Stoosh. Wow. It's so big. That's what she said. All right. We're going to get into cracking this open. But uh, yeah, Game Night 2019 edition. And uh, there's just a quick little look-see. It looks like there's going to be five 60-card Magic decks, each with a premium foil card. I guess they're foil. That's really cool. Five spin-down life counters, five life counter platforms, etc., etc. Let's just crack this guy open. Appreciate you guys tuning in. It looks like this is one of those things where, you know, you want to bring out the friends on a Friday night or what have you. Um, you can uh, put this together and uh, have some fun. You know, crack it open right out the box, and you're good to go, buddy. It even gives you a, a play guide on how to go about playing this. Pretty nifty stuff. Let's take a look at this. I will tally up the value as we go through. Pretty cool. I just want to give you guys, if you were to purchase one of these, just a basic, you know, understanding or look at uh, what's all inside of one of these. Ooh, we got some really cool stuff. Key cards. Oh, this is kind of cool. Whoa, they're, oh, man. I can't wait to see what these key cards are all about and if they're any good, because usually they're a bunch of junk bulk. But there is the booklet. Put that aside. That's pretty cool, too. They give you a whole bunch of these uh, counters, and, uh, yeah, Wow. Look at this. That is different. I don't remember that being in the last game night. Really interesting stuff. Put that aside. Ooh, spin downs galore. Man, we just keep getting a deeper layer, deeper layer. Can we roll a three? Nine. I was way off. All right, enough of that. Let's start doing this. First things first, we are going to crack open the white one. And we're just going to go through all the value as we tally it up and see what exactly is inside of one of these. Because I have no idea. And uh, if it's worth uh, the purchase, we'll say $39.99 is what we're trying to hit value out of this. Can we do it? First, we're going to get a bunch of tokens. All right, that's fair. Flip this over. Glorious combat. Power up your creatures by attacking early and often. Ah, oh, thanks. Oh, it tells you some statistics on these decks. That's pretty cool. All right. Whoa, starting things off right away. This is an exclusive card just to this product. Really cool. Never seen this art before. So it's High Cliff. Felidar. All right. Seven drop cat beast. I, I, I got to read these ones. I'm not going to read all the other cards, but just these, these uh, foil ones. It's got vigilance. It's a five, five. When high cliff Felidar enters the battlefield for each opponent, choose a creature with the greatest power among creatures that player controls. Destroy those creatures. That's pretty cool. It is a seven drop though. Pretty steep, but nonetheless, pretty neat. That is legit sauce. Oh, what do we got here? We got the Irregulars. That's right. Regulator. Roundup. Probably put that over here. I'm going to keep all these in the same pile, though. So we got Kythian's Irregulars. We've got the Renown. Uh, when this creature deals combat damage to a player, if it isn't removed, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and it becomes Renowned for two. Tap target creature. Wow. That's pretty neat. The, oh, and Zotalpa. Wow. This, okay, this is really neat. I can't wait to play this um, with a fam, for sure. The very nasty uh, card here. Flying, Double Strike, Vigilance, Trample, Indestructible, Redunculus card. And then we got this. This was printed more recently in one of the sets. Loxodon, Life Chanter. Pretty cool to see that. There's nothing that uh, stands out on the card that tells me that, you know, it's just in this product. Like how the Mystery Packs, if you haven't seen that yet, you're missing out. That video is really going crazy viral in the community. But there's nothing that stands out. There's no, like, symbol in the bottom here. At least nothing I'm picking up on that tells us this is just out of this product. So there you go. Then we got a Griffin Protector. I'm sure a lot of this is mostly common stuff. We're going to go through it rather quickly here. The Century, uh, Inspiring Charge, Pacifism. That card's been around since like the beginning of Magic. Pretty cool. It's been printed probably like 20 times. Raise the Alarm. Great card. Uh, some Planes. All right. 
whole bunch of planes up in here. Interesting how they like broke it in half there. Council's uh, lieutenant. All right, we have the council's lieutenant there, guys, with the first strike and things. Another one, first strike in the renown. And we have Fiend Binder. Man, some of these cards I just, I don't remember. Um, if you guys do, I mean, it's probably like a trip down memory lane or something. Patron of the Valiant. There you go. Pretty legit. Uncommon card. Relief Captain. That's right. I had a relief earlier. There's no doubt about this. We got Topin Free Raid. Ooh, cool. Little something guy here. Gollum. Mighty Leap. Times a couple. Take Vengeance. And it looks like a bunch of planes to close out a white one here. All right. Very cool, though. Uh, very interesting to see this. Again, we're going to tally it all up. Find out if it's worth it to purchase one of these. The Zombie Tokens from M20. Awesome sauce. I'm just curious what all, uh, what the, the card's abilities are on these uh, crazy awesome ones, you know. The ones that are supposed to be, like, uh, it's exclusive to this product alone. If they only print it in this product, we'll leave it down the road. These cards will be worth something. That's something cool. And they're only in foil. Pretty legit sauce, my friend. All right, let's flip it. Actually, we're going to save that. No, we'll do it right now. Who cares? We got the Aerial Acrobatics. Aerial Acrobatics. There you go. Defend yourself with spells. Your creatures fly to victory. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Sphinx of Enlightenment. It is labeled a mythic. There you go. For six. Creature Sphinx in all of its glory. Get a load of that art. Very weird. Sphinxes creep me out. I don't know about you guys. When uh, it's got flying, it's a 5-5. Five, five. For six. When Sphinx of Enlightenment enters the battlefield, target opponent draws a card. And you draw three cards. It's kind of weird. Why can't they just make you draw three cards and only your opponent draw them? Anyway, pretty legit. Price going crash. Engulf the Shore. I remember this was worth like 60 cents, 70 cents last time I looked. And TCG player, it's probably down to like 50 or 45 or something. River's Rebuke. There's another rare for us. Pretty legit. Very cool card, though, but kind of kind of expensive to cast. Oh, my ninja. Agent of Treachery making his appearance. Very cool card. Love this card, though. Because um, you can just steal anything on the on the battlefield when it hits the battlefield. And you can use trickery, you know, and just pop it back into your hand, drop it right back on the battlefield, you know. And uh, it does it all over again. Really cool. Some bounce effects, you know. Dungeon Geist. There you go. I thought more of this card when I first saw it, but... Cabbage? As it would ha as, as standard would have it, it's really not doing a whole lot. <laughs> there you go. Then we have Air Elemental times a couple. Brineborn Cutthroat. That is a notable card. This is actually a pretty darn decent card right here. The foil version of this I know is worth about four or five bucks. Keep that in mind. I pulled them the other day. Really cool. They only included one. Go figure. Cloud Kin Seer. Probably a good thing to keep the value up a little bit though. Uh, Moat Piranhas. I get a load of that. You guys ever getting bit by a piranha? Like I always had fears of piranhas when I was little. I don't know what that was about. We got uh, Evos over here. Good stuff. Captivating gear. All right. Having a lot of crazy fun there with these three people, huh? I think they're spirits. Unsummoned. Been around for a long time. Winged Words. Didn't think much of this card either when it first came out, but if you're running flyers in your build, uh, that's not a bad ability on the card. Got some islands here. All right, all right, all right. Not tallying that up. But basically anything over 25 cents, I will include in the value. Avon Wind Mage or Wind Mage. You know, it's wind, really. All right. We got uh, two of those. The Cryptic Serpent. All right, there you go. Some cryptic stuff going on. Times two of those. Salvager of Secrets. I do like the symbol on it, though. That little, like, star shape, whatever. I don't know what's going on there or something, though. I guess it's symbolizing the magic, the gathering cards, I would assume. The five colors of magic, basically. Another Howling Golem. All right. Claustrophobia showing up. Oh. Anyone that watches right now, you guys are claustrophobic? Um... I don't think I've ever known anyone that was, but now we see it on movies. It's a weird decision. Paral um, paralysis. There you go. Sleep paralysis. I've had that before. Weird stuff, man. Shadow people. Watch out. All right. Uh, dramatic reversal. There's uh, there's all the ninjas right there going at it. That's right. Can you guys name them all? I bet you can't. Let's see if I can. We got Jace, Gideon, Nissa. Uh, wow. L uh, Liliana. And, uh, what's his name in the back of Johnny? There you go. <laughs> All right, we got it. Gale Strike, Uncommon Times 2. Rise from the Tides. Pretty legit. And the rest should be, uh, your basic, uh, lands. I think, are these lands exclusive to this set? Pretty cool to see the artwork on those. There you have it. All right, we got two down in the books. So let's get on to the third one here. More zombie stuff. This should be the black. Pumped to see what the black one is. Should be interesting. All right, so zombie, zombie, zombie. 
Oh, and wolves around the back, so they're double-sided tokens. We learn something new every day. Fair enough. Oh, boom. Endless hordes. There you go. There's the speed and all that other stuff that goes on there. I like that they do that. It's really neat. Oh, calculating. Oh, that's right. Leech, lich, like. All right. Uh, it's got, it's a six drop. Again, these are big spells for sure. Get a load of that artwork real quick. Very, very neat. Menace. Zombie wizard. Whenever a creature attacks one of your opponents, that player loses one life. That's pretty good. Like, I can see that seeing play in Commander or something like that, right? I mean, yeah, it's legal in Commander, so there you go. Pretty cool. Liliana's Mastery. Zombies uh, get the plus one, plus one. You get to create some tokens when it hits the field. Legit. Torgbar. Uh, this came out in Dominaria. I remember that. Pretty legit. And never really worth much value, but cool card. Dread Presence. Making its rounds, man. Just printed recently in M20 and reprinted again. There you have it. All right. Villis Broker of Blood. So it looks like not a whole lot of crazy value in this slot. Uh, maybe some uncommons will make up for it a little bit. Who really knows? It's anyone's guess. Undead Servant. Blood for Bones. Love this card. Bringing reanimating stuff from the graveyard is just, it's a fun time. And it's a great way to stay in shape. Uh, I do like that. They should have put two in here, though. Bone Splitters. Some more fun action. Murder. Can't go wrong with removal. Uh, everybody needs removal. Times two. Good, they did that right. And then we got a Cursed Horde. It's a great way, I think, for people to learn the game. You know, or just to have some fun, bust out of the box where no deck is really overpowering another deck. I think that's kind of the whole approach here. Crow of Dark Tidings. There you go. Some things. Lord of the Accursed. That's worth a little something. We will take it. Lord of the Accursed. Great card uh, from Amonkhet. Pretty legit. Also, I do bundle battles now. You guys got to check those out. I have two patrons verse each other. Winner takes all. That's really, really cool, man. We've, we were doing it with different sets all the time. We're about to do some uh, holiday gift bundles from uh, Throne of Eldraine, and have a, have a patrons go at it, and winner takes all, loser goes home with nothing. That's right. Nada. <laughs> it's craziness. Grasp of Darkness, pretty cool. But yeah, I already got five, or I think four videos out on that already. So yeah, there you go. Rise from the Grave. Bury me in the nameless grave. Anybody? Anybody? Tell me what movie that's from. Bet you can't. All right, we're on to red. Look at that dragon token. That's pretty cool. That is legit sauce. 13 and older, guys. you got to be 13 years or older to play this. This is not for kids, all right? There you go. Dragon token coming at you right there. Bada bing. I like the different art on that. I wonder if he's going to be worth something. And in the back, you got your dinosaur, too. Ooh, this is going to be the deck I'm going to play. If this is gruel, baby, all day, cruel gruel for me. That's right. I'll be playing this for sure. All right. So the tokens are all the same on the back. And then we flip it. Boom. Draconic Fury. Pretty legit. There's the power of it. Look at the art, man. I just like it because we haven't seen these cards before. Uh, Fiendish Duo. Six drop. First strike, five, five. That is pretty good. If a source would deal damage to an opponent, it deals double that damage to that player instead. Yeah. Man, those are some powerful cards. That's, I mean, these are very powerful. They're high to cast. I mean, if you if these were one less to cast each, they'd see a lot of play. I guarantee you that. But uh, really, really cool. There's Akum Hellkite. Pretty legit sauce. Cabbage. With the landfall mechanic. Whenever a land on the battlefield, something triggers off. Pretty cool. All right. Lathless Dragon Queen. Love this card, but man... <sighs> Anytime I usually drop it, like, it gets just blown up on the battlefield and it's already dead before anything happens with it. It's like the number one target. You know, you drop a Lathless. If you have it set on the field for a turn or two, it's going to be game over really quick, unless your opponent's running nothing but board wipes. Dracusith making his appearance, of course. I would expect nothing less. Very powerful. Fun little tricks um, is using uh, anything to reanimate from the graveyard and bring this thing back, cheating it into play. And especially if you can give it haste and scorch your opponent's face, man. It's it's like a board wipe. It's brutal. Glint Horn Buccaneer. Pretty cool sauce there. We'll take him. I actually used him in a couple builds. Didn't have a whole lot of luck, man. But pirate lives do matter. Maybe next year, huh? Wizards, you really messed up in pirate back, uh, pirate decks. That's all I'm saying. Dragon Mage. All right, we got the Dragon Mage. Cool stuff. Goblin Smuggler. Times two of those. The Raider. 
Mastiff. I actually owned a Mastiff back in the day. That's right. Very cool. Very cool. Rocky was his name. They gave us four Mastiffs. Oh, that's cute. All right. Ripscale Predator. Like the art on that guy. Not worth a whole lot, though. Act of Treason. Chandra's Outrage. Some shocks. Just one, really? One shock? Uh, Tectonic Rift. Followed by a slew of mountains. I'll show you guys the art real quick. There you go. A little bit of the artwork. Not too shabby. Cool. Dragon Egg. That's right. Fun little card. Um, you wouldn't believe in a dragon build, though, in the right kind of dragon build, this card's pretty good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Two of those. Gargan and Dragon Rider. Legit. Makes sense to be in here. Two of those. Like the art on that. Really, really neat stuff. Like that. Anything with the auras and flames and lightning and stuff, I just I get a kick out of it. Two of those in here. The Duelist. And then we got Zealot of the God Pharaoh. All right. Howling Gollum, the Brute. Destructive stuff. Some lightning strikes, of course, and a bunch of lands. Ooh, look at how... Wow. Look at the misprints on those, man. Look how way off that is on the land. Yikes. Off-center. Doubt they're worth anything unless they're overlapping and really messed up, but, I mean, you can tell that's some pretty off-centered stuff there. All right, so we got all these. Not bad. If they were really off, they'd be worth some pretty pennies there. All right, moving along. We got the Draconic Fury. Last but not least, to close out the video... Massive Might. That's right. Reminds me of my Friday night. All right, here we go. We got a wolf token showing its little pretty face. What's on the back? Is a zombie token. Now you know. All right, cool. So we got all that. The zombies and good stuff. Followed by, boom, Massive Might. Complexity. Green is the most simplest to use. It's basically just creature-based and pump spells. The majority of what you see in green. And that's what you will experience. So it makes sense. Um, pretty decent speed. Creatures, yep, through the roof. That is green for you. What kind of beast do we get out of green? There's the art on it. Pretty cool. This is Earth Shaker Giant. It's a six drop. Trample six six. When Earth Shaker Giant enters the battlefield, other creatures you control get plus three plus three and gain trample until end of turn. That's actually a really good card. Um, I would not be surprised if this sees play elsewhere. That's actually pretty good, even at six. I know that's steep, but man, it, and it has trample itself. This is a really good card. I would expect it to see a little something. Galta, big old Galta boy. It was one time he was eight bucks. That's pretty neat. Pretty, pretty neat. Pretty legit. I want to say legit and neat and mixed it. Galta, not bad at all, man. Ripjaw Raptor. I remember this thing was four bucks at one point. Pretty cool from Ixalan. Not too bad. We'll take it. And then we got Voracious Hydra. This is a hot, a hot commodity right now. Um, definitely some value, as you can see. And a very powerful card. And uh, it's a great way to say All right, what else we got? Wake Root Elemental. I was hoping this thing would do something. I mean, with Devotion, if you're... And, hey, Devotion, this thing can go through the roof. I'm just saying. Maybe. We'll see. Never know. Wake Root Elemental, though, pretty cool. Definitely bulk, though. Ferocious Pup. Howling Giant times a couple. Leafkin Druid times three. A Shaman. All right. Growth Cycle. A whole bunch of those. Overcome. See? For five, creatures you control get plus two, plus two, and gain trample on a turn. The other card, it's a creature for one extra mana, plus three, plus three, has trample itself. It's six, six, and gives everything else plus three, plus three, and trample. That's nutty. That's why I say, wow. Uh, we got Plummet here. Some forest with some art. Oh, that looks like my uh, my backyard. That's pretty cool. All right, there you go. Some more artwork for you guys. Very, very, very peaceful. Very pleasant. All right. There we go. Get to the end here. We got Crested Herd Caller. So, definitely a dino build kind of theme going on here. Grazing Whiptail. Howling Golem. All right. Ranging Raptors. Spineback. Boom! Spineback. Fun card. Oh, dinos you control get plus one, plus one. That's a lot to bring out. And you can create tokens out of it, though. There's two of those in there. Pretty cool. Spidery Grasp. So, they did good with this. Thunder, uh, Thunder Herd Migration. Not bad. And there's three of those. That's good for ramp. Well, okay, they didn't do too bad here. Wizards, not bad. Uh, I, overall, I'd say, from what I just experienced, I'd give this product, if it's $39.99, I would give it, like, a B-. Um, it's not It's not bad. Um, I, I think maybe an extra rare or two, I think, would be really cool and a selling point in one of these kind of products. But outside of that, um, and maybe some more, like, like, with the shock, maybe give us, you know, two shocks in the deck. At least something like that, you know. The better cards make it so, you know, they're accessible. But anyway, pretty cool. If anyone wants to see the spin down, what it looks like, the art on it, there is none. It just says 20. I've never seen nothing like that before in my life. 
Wow, that's different. Okay, moving along. There you have it, guys. I appreciate you tuning in for this video. Uh, total value, yep, is on the screen there. What are your thoughts? Uh, would you buy one of these? Um, and why? Why would you buy one of these? The reason I would buy it? Like, I'm going to use this with the fam. I'll tell you that right now. I'm going to play with the fam. I got five decks ready to go. It would be so awesome of you if you take a moment, punch that like button, and also give these videos right here a look. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Bad Boy Gaming. I'm Joey Moss. We'll see you next time.